All right, we're back. Oh, we got a sink. There we go. All right, so today I'm playing without Amanda. Um, she's busy doing other stuff, so I'm just gonna record without her, and uh, I'll catch her up to speed if she wants to join in again later. All right, so I think the last thing we were doing was, yeah, we we're looking for the power supply. All right, let's just kind of work our way through then. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit this since long form is a little tedious to watch, make it a little easier. It says there's enemies somewhere. Oh, do I need... Oh, I can. All right, let's see what we can do. It's like new mode, I guess. It's like new target. We're not enemies, not define intruders as spacer's choice auto mechanicals. That's that's really smart. Let's see, where are they at? So there's that. I wonder when he. Yeah, they are fighting each other. <laughs> that is super satisfying. All right, cool. So, but I think. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. That didn't work. Got him off. Woo -hoo! Well, that was quick. <laughs> All right. But I think we'll play for a while, and then I'll I'll cut it down, make it easier to watch. Uh, and then you know, we'll go from there. See what see what people are enjoying. Shut off steam release valves. All right. Is that these? Yeah. I'm guessing that's now a shortcut kind of thing. All right. Is this a workbench? I, I'm assuming that it probably costs more if you don't want to repair it. Um, can I mod anything? I like this shotgun, but yeah, I, yeah. There's no modifications. Yeah, I think I picked up something. Honestly, it's not affecting the damage yet. I'm gonna wait until it affects the damage to repair this. And we need, I forget what those are called, but I'm sure we'll find more at some point. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, and then, cool. Oh. So I like their their take on the vats in this with the whole slow down time kind of work your stuff together. There we go. Oh, I, let me search it. There we go. Keep going with what we're doing. Oh, here we go. There's <laughs> service reward. Alright. Where is it at? So we need to go up. Oh. My big head stuck. There we go. So. We got that. What is that? Facial makeup cream. I can get that off. And then, oh, that was good. Cool. Once we do this, all right. No hey, Mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you: Do you understand what you're about to do? I, I want to see if I can do both. I honestly wouldn't mind. I don't mind, think yeah. you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I, I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. I think that mayor deserved to be punished.
Let's see what this is. That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. I do see that point. I'm gonna see what she says to the deserters or her community. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be- You know, I kind of like how she's presenting you? that. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just- I'm kind of- I felt like I had to say something. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Well, that is rough to hear. Okay. So, I, I'm grappling with it because I do agree with what she's saying. And that, like, he, the only person to have the idea of coming together was him. I don't know. Is there a way to... I wish... I think there's a way to... Plant status. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater, but him. I don't... I'm kind of on her side. I kind of want to put it back to Edgewater and bring everybody back together, because that seems like the best chance of them surviving. So I'm going to do it to Edgewater, because I... I think there's a way to save both, but I'm not going to mess with that. Alright, let's see what, what happened. Now, retrieve the power regulator. Where is that at? Where's the... Do we have a, a map? Oh, I need... Oh, well, that's why. Because there's a return. I'm assuming that that'll be... Yeah, that's... Yeah, so we're going to have to go to the same place anyway, so... I hope I can convince them, like... Because, again, it seems like the, the decent thing is for everybody to come together. I'll open these, but I'm not going to sit here and read them. Oh no, okay, it's not that simple. I thought it was gonna be just like straight up walk around. <laughs> Looks like ammo. Energy cells. Whoa! Speed grip for a melee weapon, melee weapon. So I might be able to make that sword into something a little nicer. Right? Because I still have. Or no, I have the. this thing. Unlock office door, yeah. And I'm not, I, I mean, I'll hear all. In case there's anybody that wants to read them. There. That way, if, if you want to read them, you can. I'm not going to read them, because very rarely does stuff like that even have stuff that I care for. Um, right now, how do I get out? Is it? Yeah, it might. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm probably going to speed this up. The distance is ridiculous. <laughs> This doesn't look good. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. 
Um, what yeah. Is there another workbench? Where? That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Calm down. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? We really need these people back. This is... I mean, yeah, it's, I was struggling more with this top one. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Huh. Because I don't like Reed. He's the one that... <laughs> that was the reason. Huh. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must. Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. I... I like doing both. Actually, that's not bad. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me. And I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. Uh I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. I mean, it's not really that disgusting. It, like, the marauders are kind of shitty people. I'm sure if a worker died, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell them. I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. So, essentially, calling the bluff. Let's see. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away. But Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I wonder if it's still one-sided. Let's see. Well, I'll see. Yeah, I'm wondering if... Like, because I, I don't like Reed. He seems slimy. A man and I kind of felt that when we first met the character. They were really good about that. Um, I'm actually going to finish this quest before I start talking about moving. Oh, and then we're going to talk to them. Well, let's see what they say, actually. One of us want Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. The matter's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. <sighs> Disappeared without a trace. Of course. Marauders took her, I suspect. not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that, but it's... I will. Could do without the gallows humor. Alright, so... 
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to do side quests to get them Everybody to return. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, hi, uh. hi, uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I, I'm just along with this <laughs> fella here. <laughs> I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Yeah, no, right? Never heard it phrased in such a way before. I guess we're all trying to get our ships off no, the ground, ain't we? <laughs> He's so dense. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see? Yeah, side quest. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, hey, I got I'll the engineer. take all the part. help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide oh, to Mechanical geez. Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Let's see. I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Would you? I'd be grateful. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. That was much easier that time. There we go. Just gonna throw that on there real quick. She's fine. Everyone all right? Damn girl. Oh see, she's got like a shock version of this same thing. That's why she's so tough. Doesn't bother me. That looks dangerous. Made quick work of them. Alright, so it seems like you either need to stick with guns or melee. Although guns probably are good, it's just I haven't stuck with using them, so. Oh, well, don't move. Damn, girl. Oh my god. Okay, so you can see the special ability in action there. And then it's a knockback, so it should quite literally knock them back. What the hell is even that? Oh, what in the hell? Oh, she's gonna die, isn't she? She's oh no, they don't she doesn't die, I forgot. I will though, jeez. Alright, the behemoth's dead.
That was horrifying. Nothing. Like, really? Like, then yeah, let's run in here, knock this out, and then do a little back and forth. Thank you, Dark Souls. You know, it looked like a landmine, and it, and it sounded like a landmine, but I didn't treat it like a landmine. <laughs> Journal of... Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. More mag picks. I can get down to that. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Could just take you out, Silas. Hey, I'm tired of listening to you. Not today. Just helping this fella. I love that. They just, they made it feel a little more real with the language, and I like it because, like, of course you'd be upset if you got a book that was in French and you actually wanted to read it, you know? But, like, or I'm helping this person. Like,. It's good. It's a nice little touch that I can appreciate. No, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Wanted to put the gun away, so I held Y. I don't know why I did that. Wondering if this will finish another quest and let us level up again. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. <laughs> Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. I mean, I'll keep her. She's really cool. I'm the only cool. mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Parvati, you can stay with me. Oh, I want her. <laughs> And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But I know what you Can I come with? Yeah, of course. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabinet chores. Are you sure read what mine? I don't care. We'll read things. You just man. Yeah, yes. I, I love her. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, Mister. She's really cool. I really dig her as like a character. I can call you Captain now. No, oh, jeez, <laughs> never mind. I got a captain. She's great. Alright. Let's see about installing this, right? Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. What can I do for you, <laughs> Captain? Have do power you know how to install a power regulator? Nope. Oh, wait. I do. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic <laughs> engine failure. I feel like it's going Our to happen now. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. All right. Yeah, we went to the the engine room earlier, I think, when we were playing. Up, up. I kind of want to see this thing move. Does it move? Oh, look at that! Got your very own ship. So it doesn't move, it just kind of radiates. That's cool. Hooey! <laughs> Jesus criminy. I'm gonna break my legs so many times in this. Not even on purpose. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating with an accept- I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low-altitude orbit. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Oh, this is cool. Looks like hell, but it's cool. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to end it there. Uh, I would love to hear feedback. Just let me know what you're thinking. If you like an edited version a little better, uh, if you like the long form ver version better, and... Uh, I'll just go with that and we'll keep having fun with it. Awesome. Thanks.